Krasheninikov is escalating fast. Since our last update, the eruption has intensified and the ground around the volcano is shifting at an alarming rate. Satellite radar now shows up to 16 centimeters of deformation in less than a week, proof that magma is still forcing its way upward. A fissure nearly a kilometer long has ripped across the North Cone, sending one to two volcanian explosions into the sky every minute. The inner crater is overflowing with lava, which is now flooding the caldera floor and advancing in two thick, blocky streams. Bombs of molten rock are being thrown 100 meters from the vent, this comes just days after the 8.8 .8 quake tore through the region. Multiple volcanoes across Kamchatka are now active, but Krasheninikov's first eruption in centuries is among the most volatile. The eruption column above the summit is unstable, and a shift in wind could drive ash straight into air routes or toward coastal towns with little notice. The seismic network continues to pick up tremor, and deformation patterns are still expanding. That means pressure beneath the volcano is not easing. New fissures could open without warning. Lava flows could accelerate downslope. Kamchatka is in the middle of a rare multi-volcano crisis, and Krasheninikov has become one of its most unpredictable threats. We'll keep tracking every change, because this situation is still moving fast.